Hey, what's up everybody? In this video tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at how to apply a slider joint. Um, so with our miniature golf course project, I said that we're needing to have at least one animated part. So that could be something that slides back and forth. That could be something that spins. All right, but we're going to be taking a look at that part that's going to be sliding back and forth. So think about a wall, all right? A wall we're going to have sliding back and forth. Uh, so already I have created a wall. Let's take a look at that. Let's get the dimensions of it. All right, when I inspect this, I can see that that length is 48 inches. Uh, I can see that my wall is 12 inches tall, and I can see that the depth on this is four inches. All right, so 48 inches and four inches is what I really need to be kind of taking a look at. So jumping back in here to my course, what I'm gonna do is, is I'm first going to come in, create a sketch right here on top. Okay, and I'm gonna say that my wall is gonna be going back and forth here. So I'm just going to create um, a rectangle here. It need to be four inches for my depth. Okay, and then overall it was 48 inches the wall, but you know, if we made a slot that's just 48 inches, that means that this thing is just going to, well, it's not gonna be able to slide or it's gonna be sliding into something that's not there. All right, so I'm gonna double that. I'm gonna go with 96 inches, so it's gonna be eight foot wide. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and finish the sketch. I'm gonna come in here and do just an extrusion. I'm gonna cut this down and we're talking about something that's very slight. I mean, maybe a quarter of an inch, all right? It's not much, it's cut down into it. So there we go. All right, so we have our slot, all right? Now what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna drag my wall in. <clears throat> okay, my wall is here, I can drag this off. I'm gonna go ahead and say okay. All right, and now what I wanna do is, is I wanna come up here and I want to apply a joint to it. Okay, but right now, okay, we're in the position tab. There are many different choices for joints. When I jump over into the motion tab, you're going to see that there are what, seven different types of joints that we can use. I'm not gonna lie to you, we've basically been living in this rigid um, <clears throat> type of joint for most of the year. So if we come over here, we're gonna see that slider is an option. So I'm gonna pick on slider. Okay, now if I'm jumping around, you're gonna see that there are no joint origins that are popping out at us because we have not jumped over into the position tab. So let's go to position tab. <clears throat> and now I'm gonna come in here, flip and look at this, the bottom part of the wall. <clears throat> I'm gonna come right here to this face. I'm gonna hold control to use that filter. I'm gonna go right to that position right there. Okay, I'm gonna flip this over. <coughs> And now I'm gonna look at the bottom of this slot that I just created. <clears throat> okay, so I'm looking in here. I'm gonna tell you right now, that's looking, I think at the top, all right? So if that's the case, if you're having a hard time figuring out what's what, all right, most times what's happening is, is that there's a sketch in a way. So what I do is I like to just come over here and turn off sketches. Now I know I'm definitely looking at the bottom of that face. All right, <clears throat> now I can hold control, get my filter. All right, and now that wall goes right into position. All right, but we do have an issue, all right, is when we jump back over into motion and say we animate this, we can see that that wall is not doing what we want it to do. It's going in the wrong direction, all right? So we can see that our slide, we have different sort of choices here. That's our Z axis. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop this. I'm gonna switch this over to our X axis. Well, that's going out of the track, so that's not right. So I'm gonna jump over here and go into my Y axis. Aha, uh -huh, that's what we're looking for. That's the motion that we're, we're wanting. So I'm gonna go ahead and now I'm just going to say, okay. All right, so it's sliding, but the problem is it's able to go outside of our limits and we don't want that. Okay, we built that slot there for a reason. All right, so in order to fix this, I'm gonna come back in. Okay, I'm going to go into my joints. I'm gonna expand out on it and I'm going to find my slider joint. I'm gonna right click and pick on edit joint limits. Okay, and now this is where we can start adjusting our minimum, our maximum and our rest. So right now I'm gonna say that my minimum is right there at zero. My maximum, okay, I can pull this over and I can get it somewhat closer to the end and I can see it's gonna go negative 48. I'm liking that. Okay, and now I'm gonna go ahead and go to my rest and what rest is going to do is it's just going to snap back into its original position. So let's go ahead and hit play. So I can see it is going that distance, all right? <clears throat> so as I was messing with the flags, all right, just a second ago, all right, it actually flipped it on me, all right? My minimum was negative 48, my max was at zero, and my rest is at zero. I'm gonna go ahead and hit okay, all right? And now what I'm gonna do is, is I'm actually just going to grab a hold of this wall and I'm gonna pull it over. And you can see how it maxes it out right there. I let go and it snaps back, all right? So my wall is working, all right? So what I'm gonna do now is, all right, if I wanna animate this and actually see it working, I'm gonna come here to slider, 
Okay, and you can always come in here and do a slow double click and you can actually name this. So I'm going to say, you know, this is like my wall slide. So I know exactly what the joint is, but I can right click on it and I can say, hey, just animate the model for me. All right. And now we can actually see that that wall is working within my course. All right. So that's how you use slider. All right. I'm going to go ahead and just stop this for a minute. All right. Because this can get kind of irritating. Some people are looking at this going, well, if the ball was in play, it could hit that, you know, that spot there. Uh, and this could be an issue. Yeah, you're right. All right. So let's go ahead and fix that. All right, I'm going to show you another way of doing this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a sketch, okay, on this face. And instead, I'm going to come down here. Instead of making the slot, I'm going to actually create a point. And I'm just going to say I want my point, you know, like right here. And now I'm going to go ahead and finish that sketch. Okay, I'm going to turn my sketches on because I originally turned them off. And that point is just sitting there, just kind of hovering. All right, <clears throat> what I'm going to do now is I'm going to drag another wall in place that in. I'm going to pull this off the origin so I can see it. I'm going to say, okay. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is let's see if we can get this to work. I'm going to come up here and go to joint again. My motion is going to be slider. So now I need to start picking my positions. All right. So I'm going to come right in here. Okay. Come right here to the bottom of this. Use my filter. I'm going to get that point. And let's see if we can't get that point to show up. All right. And it does. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and pick on that. All right, so now, okay, we can see, okay, in motion, all right, we can see how that is working. Unfortunately, it's in the wrong axis, so I'm going to switch this over to X, okay, X is looking good. That's animating the way I want, so I'm going to go ahead and say okay. All right, and that's when I can come in here, right-click, okay, I can edit the joints, okay, my minimum and my maximum, so I'm going to go ahead and just pull this over from my flag. I'm going to say I want that to come over, you know, like negative 48, my maximum, we're going to have at zero. My rest is going to be at zero. And I'm just going to go ahead and play this. So we can see how it spans out there the right direction. All right. <clears throat> it's able to do that movement. And I can say, okay. All right. So if I pull this over, oops, if I pull this over, you can see it's going to maximize. Okay. I let go. It's going to snap back to its resting place, which is at zero. All right. So now I have two different walls. I have one with a track. Okay. One without a track. All right, let's say I want these to work together in unison. So if I come up here underneath the symbol, I can see that there's something called motion link. If I pick on motion link, now it's asking me to grab two different joints. So I want this wall and this wall. So, oh, I'm sorry, uh, this wall slide and this slide. Okay, and now they're going, actually going to be working together. Okay, and we could even reverse them if we wanted to as well. But I'm just gonna go ahead and say, this is the one I want, I'm gonna say okay. All right, and now if I just right click on one of these and animate the model, okay, you're going to see that both of those are working. All right, so there you go. Two different ways of creating, you know, a slider. One is by using an actual slot. Uh, one does not have a slot. We're using a point and we're referencing that. Okay, but there you go. That's how you use slider joints uh, in Fusion 360 for a miniature uh, golf course project.